Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is middle of the linked list. So in this question, we're given the head of a singly linked list and we have to return the middle node of the linked list. If there are two middle nodes, we have to return the second middle node. So let's take a look at these two examples and see how this question can be solved. So I've taken the first example they've given us. This is the head of the linked list pointing at the beginning and the last node will obviously point to null. So to solve this question, there's a famous algorithm, the tortoise and hare algorithm where the tortoise is the slow pointer and the hare is the fast pointer. So let's declare the two pointers both pointing at the head. So the idea is that the fast pointer will move at 2x speed compared to slow. So if slow moves one node to the right, fast will move two nodes to the right in each iteration. So this iterations will run until fast and fast.next are not equal to null. In the next iteration slow will move to slow.next and fast will move to fast.next.next. So fast dot next is 2, fast dot next was next is 3. So this is the first iteration. Next iteration it will check if fast is not equal to null and fast dot next is not equal to null. They are both not equal to null. So you continue the same process. Slow will point to the next node and fast which was initially here will move to fast dot next dot next. Now that is the end, second iteration. Now in the third iteration it will check fast is not equal to null. Yes it is not equal to null. but fast dot next which is pointing to null so you end the iteration and you return whatever the slow is pointing to so slow pointer is pointing to 3 which is our expected answer so you return slow now let's take a look at the second example so this is the second example we added an extra node at the end 6 and 6 is pointing to null let's start the same process slow and fast will point to head and this Iterations will run until fast is not equal to null and fast.next is not equal to null. So let's move the pointer. Slow will point to slow.next and fast will point to fast.next.next. Fast.next is this, fast.next.next is this. So fast will point here. Now we check if fast is not equal to null, it's not equal to null. Fast.next is not equal to null. So you continue the same process. Move slow to slow.next and move fast to fast.next.next. Fast dot next is this, fast dot next dot next is this. Now we check if fast is equal to null or not. No, it's not equal. Fast dot next is also not equal to null. So you do one more iteration of moving the pointers. So slow will move to slow dot next and fast will move to fast dot next dot next. Fast dot next is this, fast dot next dot next is this. So fast will point here. And now we check if fast is equal to null. Yes, it is equal to null. So you end the iteration and you return whatever is pointing at slow. So slow node is pointing to 4, so that will be our output. Now let's implement these steps in a Java program. Coming to the function they have given us, this is the function name and we are given the head of a linked list and we have to return a list node, that is the middle node of the linked list given to us. So as I've said, let's declare the two pointers, slow and fast. Both are pointing to the beginning, that is the head of the linked list. Now we have to, now let's use a while loop to check if fast is not equal to null and also fast.next is also not equal to null. Now inside this while loop, we move the slow pointer to the next node and we move the fast pointer two nodes to the right in each iteration. So fast node will run at 2x speed than the slow node. So slow is equal to slow.next and fast is equal to fast.next.next Now once you end the while loop, the fast node will reach the end node, the fast node will reach the end and the slow pointer which is running at half its speed will point at the middle node. So we return the slow node as the output. Now let's try to run the code. Our test cases are running. Let's submit the code. There you have it, our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n and the space complexity is constant of 1. That's it guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.